that's basically what they're saying. California is failing very fast, a state where only illegal immigrants and wealthy tech barons now feel welcome. With thousands living in close proximity on Skid Row, hygiene is always an issue. But with an official outbreak of hepatitis A, it's now a necessity. Kate Steinle was fatally shot in 2015 by a repeat felon and five-time deportee who was shielded by the city's sanctuary policy. The stench of urine and feces is strong. Welcome to one of San Francisco's newest tent cities. Authorities are certain they would have arrested 800 more immigrants, but Oakland's mayor issued a statement over the weekend warning of the raids. California matters. It's our biggest state. It's the leading edge of everything. Victor Davis Hansen is a lifelong resident of the state. He's a senior fellow at the Hoover Institution. He joins us tonight. Mr. Hansen, thanks a lot for coming on. Um, you. you described the economic distribution of California recently as medieval. What does that mean? Well, that means that it's about 75% of the geographical area is inhabited by 25% of lower income people by and large. And we have a coastal corridor from San Diego to Berkeley where we have Caltech and Stanford and we have about $3 trillion in capitalized Silicon Valley companies. And this is where all the policy is made. And these people who make it, the lawyers, academics, politicians, are never subject to the ramifications of their own ideologies because they have such wealth. And so California is a, a medieval society in the sense that we have the highest basket of gasoline sales and income tax, but we rank 45th in school test scores, 49th according to Forbes and in infrastructure among the highest kilowatt uh, rates in the nation. Uh, our gasoline tax is going to be the highest. Ga cost of gasoline is the highest, but it doesn't affect the people on the coast who make these regulations. I mean, where I work at Stanford, it's 70 degrees or 65 degrees. I don't have to turn on the air conditioning or the heater, but where I live in the San Joaquin Valley, uh, poor people have to go into Walmart because they can't afford to turn on their air conditioner. So people in this medieval society on the coast, they don't believe in water transfers for agriculture and for poor people, but they surely do for the artificial landscapes in the Bay Area, whether it's Hetch Hetchy or the California Water Project. So that added to it, it's a dysfunctional state because of that. There's the middle class, about four or five million people have left. We had about four or five million people come illegally from Southern Mexico. And we've had an enormous concentration of global wealth in a very small geographical area. And you put all that together and you get what you have now. It's unbelievable. They're running for their own benefit. Victor Davis Hanson, one of the great summaries of what's happening in California. I appreciate that. Thank you. I, thank you for having me, Tucker.